Um, from your past knowledge, um, from other classes or other sorts, what is the purpose of the conclusion paragraph? What is its goal in life? What does conclusion paragraph want to do when it goes up? Someone tell me. What? What do you mean what? Y'all can respond fast. What is the conclusion? To wrap up the essay, what Adam said. Yes, what Adam said to wrap up the essay. There's one other thing. What? I said good job, Adam. <laughs> good job, Adam. I love this. Peer support. The other thing is to like re... Yes, restate. Yes, Jackie, uh, favorite student. Um, anyways, kidding, y'all. Don't get don't get <laughs> crazy about that. I said that. Um, the word I like to use is reiterate. Um, to reiterate your point, restate your point. Um, so you want to make sure that you make yourself clear, just in case you know these Lindas out here aren't listening. Um, you, so you will restate a little bit. You, but you also want to add a little bit extra. We'll talk about that today. Um, okay, how long does the conclusion need to be for this class, for this essay, for STAR? Okay, not a conclusion to like a research paper. This conclusion, how long, how many sentences do you think it needs to be? Two is good. Anybody feel anything other than two? There's two the magic number. Are we sticking with two? Going once? Going twice? Sold on two sentences? Three? Yes. You got a challenger? Yes, three would be fine. Uh, two or three would be fine. If you're doing two, I mean, there's no like hard and fast rule, but if you're doing two, like maybe one's a compound or complex sentence. If you're doing three, just make sure they're not three compound sentences because you actually have six, right? So two or three, but make sure the sentences aren't too long or aren't too short. Both right answers. All right, friends, the most important question here, when is the paper due? Dun, dun, today. Dun. today, yes, today is correct. Um, I'm going to start grading them as soon as you guys leave class. Um, but I, um, the time says 3 o'clock. That's just so it can stay open for all my classes. But if you guys know the drill, if you uh, submit it late, submit, uh, send me a message. So that way I can change your grade. Um, okay, friends, I'm going to talk about conclusion really briefly here, and then after that, um, you're going to have time to type your conclusion, and then after that, you will finish any other remaining sections of your essay, and then that will be it. I <laughs> like, a four is a hundred. You got a hundred last time, Adam, no? We'll see. If you submit it late, you do fail. That is true. Um, okay, friends. First thing, I really like this GIF. I was sitting there laughing about it this morning. Miss <laughs> um, Hernandez made a mistake, but we actually don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. And this was a happy accident. The happy accident was I found a different way on the interweb. Then I've taught conclusion in past years, and I liked it. And so I was like, I'm going to teach it this way, but it doesn't match the boxes on your Word document. And so I will show you uh, how to solve that problem later on but just wanted to note that really quickly because you might see this and be like that's not what's on our document you are right it is not um okay the first method please enjoy my gifs throughout this class period um the first method is a call to action this one's a little bit easier than the second method and let's see this one's a little bit easier than the second method and it is basically you asking the reader to do something, okay, to make some sort of change. So you've spent the paper uh, convincing them of your position. Now you're going to ask them to ask to act on or do something about that position. Make sure that you are calling them to action. Um, <laughs> make sure that you're calling them to action about your side, right? So if you've written the entire essay about that you think technology is a bad thing, don't then in your call to action be like, everybody needs to go out and get a phone right now, because that would be going against what you said the entire paper. So be careful of that. The way that you would write your call to action is that you would, one, restate your thesis, which does match the format that you have on your Word doc. Uh, Drea, I just got your message, love. I'm going to open it up and respond to you as soon as I'm done getting through these these notes, okay? Um, two, uh, thank you. Two, after you... Um, Restate your thesis, you will encourage the reader to take some kind of action. Exemplar. So the thesis that I've been using as the exemplar was the one from last week, one for the prompt last week. 
Um, okay. The thesis was censoring material in schools for any reason violates a student's rights under the Constitution and doesn't allow them to make their own choices. So that's the thesis. This is a conclusion that would go with that thesis. You don't even really need to see the rest of the paper to write this conclusion. But you could say this, this blue part is step one. Restate the thesis. That's the blue part. Ultimately, sensory material in school infringes on students' constitutional rights to make their own choices. The yellow part is encouraging the reader to take action. Therefore, it is imperative that students rise up against the establishment and rebel against anyone who attempts to censor information in public schools. I actually didn't write that. Um, some other rebellious teacher out there wrote that. Um, but notice that it is calling the students to do something to fight against this um, censorship. So that's a call to action. Two sentences, short and sweet, worded well, good to go. That's the conclusion. Be very careful. This is you restating your thesis, okay? Which would be about the fourth time that you've said the same thing, right? Because you're supposed to use your reasons in your topic sentences, and you've already said the thesis once. So be very, very careful that you're not using the same words. Get on thesaurus.com. Think of synonyms. If you absolutely cannot think of another way to say your reasons, don't say the reasons. Just restate your claim. Just the claim. Just your stance. If you're not going to be able to find a different way to restate your reasons. Because you've already done that in your topic sentences. So if you cannot think of a different way to word it, don't do it. We'll save the space in our paper anyway. Just restate your claim. Okay? All right. Second method, and this one's a little bit... Uh, <laughs> This one's a little bit more difficult. Um, and the exemplar that I'm going to show you is pretty long, but a student last period, Luke Ledesma, did a very good job at doing this with um, a few amount of words. I love this meme. I was, again, sitting here laughing, and I was like, this is me. <laughs> She's so you. It is. It is me. Stand there in your wrongness and be wrong and get used to it. And I'll stand here in my rightness. Just kidding. Um, okay. So a counter argument, y'all is the argument for the other side. So if you're having an argument with your mom, you are the argument. Everything you say is the argument. Everything she says back to you is the counter argument. It's everything that the other person is saying back to you. So if you're saying technology is terrible, then the counter argument will be whatever somebody else is saying um, who, who thinks that technology isn't terrible. Okay, so if they read your paper, what would they say back to you? Okay, if you know they're on the other side. The way that you write a counter argument is you, one, state what the opposite side would say to you after they read your paper. Two, tell them why they are wrong, because they are always wrong and you are always right when you write these papers. And three, restate your thesis. This is what it looks like. Again, this is a long version, same thesis. Those in favor of censorship in schools might say that children are not yet old enough to understand their rights under the Constitution, and therefore they do not have the capacity to claim them. So that is the counter argument. That is what the other side would say. The other, other side would be like, these kids are too young to even know their rights. And then the blue is you telling them why, why they are wrong. Uh, age and capacity do not determine citizenship. They still should have their rights. Restate thesis. Therefore, regardless of a student's age or capacity, that student is entitled to the freedom of education without censorship afforded to them by the Constitution. Boom, done. A little bit longer, um, but this doesn't have to be long. I, again, I saw a student do it well last time. If you're interested in seeing that example, I can put it up when you guys are working. Okay. Um, really quickly, before, before I put my uh, work time slide up here, again, like I said, your graphic organizer on your Word document does not match what I just taught you because Ms. Hernandez made a happy accident, okay? And so if you want to fix that happy accident and you know you want to write a call to action, you can change your graphic organizer to look like the one. I hope you guys have been able to see the screen the whole time. I always forget you have, right? Okay, I hope so. I always forget to hit that stupid setting. Um, make your uh, graphic organizer look like the one on the left. If you want your uh, table to be set up for counter argument, Make your table look like the one on the right. If you're just going to write it anyway, you don't really care what the table says. You can write it all in one box. I'll know what you mean. But if the table helps you, this is how you can set up your table. All right. Your mission for today is, one, complete your conclusion. You can do it even if you haven't written the rest of your paragraph. 
So get some credit, right? All you need is a thesis so you can write a conclusion. Two, uh, complete any incomplete part of your essay. Three, have me check it. I will give you feedback and tell you what I'm probably going to score you um, with and without the feedback implemented. And then four, be a happy chihuahua. Okay, that is your mission for today. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave this slide on the board because I think it's the most immediately helpful. Um, other slides that are in this PowerPoint, though, are the transitional phrase list, the exemplar to the intro, exemplar paragraphs, and the exemplar conclusions that I just went over. All of that is here. So I'm going to unlock the PowerPoint um, so that way you can scroll at your own leisure. But also I'm going to link in the chat box the notes for you. Let me do that right now. And then I will also link the assignment in case you are having trouble finding it. One second for me to paste all of the things. All right, notes have been linked. And now we shall link the essay. There you go. All right, friends, I'm gonna mute myself here. Um, message me when or if you need um, feedback, you're stuck or you're done. And Drea, I'm about to get back to you. And I'm gonna mute myself, message me, come off mute or message in the chat box if you need anything. <laughs>